Brianna. Hey, why do you look so down? Are you okay? Well, not really. I'm kind of stressed about something. Well, can I help? I guess. <laughs> I'm actually concerned about a friend of mine. I really want to help her, but she's older than me, and she's giving really bad advice from some other friends. I know what she needs to do, but maybe I'm just not the one to help her. You know, that reminds me of someone. His name is Elihu. Who is Elihu? Is he in your class? <laughs> no. Elihu is a person is a person in the Bible. Elihu's older friend, Job, needed advice and encouragement. Job also had other companions who were older, but just not wiser. However, Elihu had qualities which helped him give good advice to his friend. So why don't we look at that account and maybe it will help you with your situation? I think that's a great idea. Well, I have my Bible with me. And we can find Elihu in the book of Job, chapter 32. Let's read how his situation is similar to yours in verse 2 and 3. So that's Job, chapter 32, verses 2 and 3. It says, <coughs> His anger blazed against Job for trying to prove, prove himself, trying to prove himself right rather than God. He was also very angry with Job's three companions because they could not find an answer, but had declared God wicked. So let me explain this scripture to you, Miss Brianna. Elihu knew <coughs> his friend Job was getting very bad advice from his older friends. But if he would have, if Job would have listened to his older friends, he would have suffered terrible consequences. So this is why Elihu was very upset. Mm. I see how Elihu's dilemma made him upset as well. Yes, but let's read on because while Elihu showed respect for older ones, he felt the need to be truthful with them, especially his friend Job. And now I'd like to read a different scripture with you in the same chapter, but just different verses. And it's in this, Job chapter 30, 32, verses 4 through 6. And it says, Elihu had been waiting to respond to Job because they were older than he was. When Elihu saw that the three men had nothing to say in answer, his anger flared up. So Elihu, the son of Barakel, the Buzite, began to speak, saying, I am young, and you men are aged, so I respectfully held back, and I dare not to, I dare not to tell you what I know. Wow, Elihu really did know how to feel right now. So what did he do about it? Well, the next verses tell us that he realized that wisdom doesn't just come from advanced years, but it's God's spirit that makes one wise. And because Elihu relied on God's spirit, he was able to be a true friend to Job and tell him the truth about his situation. Well, that was very brave of Elihu. Yes, it was. In this account, we find evidence that Elihu was impartial and humble. These qualities are what motivated him to, honest, to honestly speak to Job, even though the things he had to say to Job were very difficult. This made him a true friend and a trusted companion. And when he and he even ended up giving him the best advice he could hear. It's right here in Job 36, 11. And would you read that, please? Sure. That's Job 36, 11. Okay. It says, if they obey and serve him, they will live out their days in prosperity, and their years will be pleasant. You know... This is a really encouraging example. I definitely want to be a good friend. And if I hold back the truth, then I won't be. I'm going to go see my friend today and tell her exactly what she needs to hear. But if I follow Elihu's example, I know it'll be the right advice. I'm glad. You know, the Bible has many examples of faithful servants that can help us in everyday life. And I have a book called Imitate Their Faith and if you don't mind, I'd like to drop by tomorrow 
and I can leave a copy with you. I would actually love that. Thanks so much, Kayla. You're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs>